hello uh, it's uh, april 25th 2020 and uh, we're back in the forest garden well actually this is a space right beside the forest garden where i have put all the trees that i accidentally uh, bought and didn't have space for in the forest garden so um I am slowly working my way into making more permaculture-like uh, reality in, in this part of the garden. And, uh, but but uh, these poor trees have actually been struggling for a while uh, in the grass and they haven't, haven't been doing really well. So now this fall I made an experiment and that's what I want to share with you. So um, I put on just on top of the grass, I put a thick layer of straw with horse manure. On top of that, I put a lot of uh, compost. And on top of that, I got like 40 fleeces of uh, sheep's wool. And um, the experiment is uh, to see how it is to grow stuff in sheep's wool. You can actually buy uh, some, uh, a com some compost materials that doesn't use sheep's wool, but, but they're really expensive and uh, with uh, the, the size of my garden, they're just not enough. So I got this for free, 40, I just had to pick them up, uh, 40 fleeces, and I put it on top of the horse manure and the compost. The idea is that slowly it will compost, but in the meantime, it will uh, keep the soil warmer in winter and cooler in summer, and then the, it will not dry out as fast. Once it composts, it will release uh, lots of nutrients. Uh, there's a lot of nitrogen, for instance, in sheep's wool, but I have no experience with this, so. This is just an experiment to see what happens. Uh, my feeling is that it will take quite a while to, uh, to compost, but uh, I could just add more stuff on top or leave it like this and see what happens. I want to point out uh, another thing. As you see, it looks like grass growing, but this is actually wheat. Um, I did not intend this, but because the compost that I got was infested with wheat and uh, now I have a tiny wheat field. Uh, I haven't really done anything about it and I'm thinking good luck, bad luck, who knows. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I think it's going to look beautiful and, um, and I'm sure the birds will eat uh, the wheat. Uh, I'm not going to harvest it. And then come fall, I'll probably just add another layer of compost and another layer of horse manure on top and see what happens. So it's all just an experiment to build soil and to build resilience and to uh, especially suppress the, uh, the grass growing around the trees because they really don't like that. Um, and again, uh, using free materials. Um, and, uh, and, and seeing what combinations uh, uh, have what effect. And, um, and another thing is also this, is not, this area is not fen fenced in and we have a lot of deer. So uh, supposedly sheep wool has a repellent effect on deer. So I'm hoping that they will leave the trees and whatever I put uh, in this bed alone well, most of the time, so that I also get some of the crops that I want to grow here. Especially, I want to put uh, pumpkins and squash and um, uh, what's this, uh, corn, uh, stuff like that. Just uh, adding and letting it run the way it wants to and seeing how everything reacts with this. But already I feel like the trees are happier in this corner than they are over here for instance so um, I will get back to you uh, we will have a look at this bed when once it's uh, it has been planted and uh, during uh, the, the growth season and maybe also see in fall how how things are progressing with the compostation and and all of that so uh, that's it for today see you later